This is your electrical panel, which most homeowners already know. This is called an AC disconnect, and this is your end phase communication box. This is what connects your Wi-Fi and your microinverters all kind of come into here and it gets uh, this is a wonderful combination of all these circuitry to communicate with your microinverters and then send that information up into the cloud. As a homeowner, you want to see three green lights. The very minimum, you want to see that these two are working. This means that the microinverters are working and that they're sending data back to your panel. On the far left, if this is not green, it's okay, but with something we should get fixed, it ultimately means that it might not be connected to Wi-Fi. If you ever have any issues with your system and you need to reset it or do a hard reset, kind of like what you do with a computer, the steps are very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to locate your, your solar breaker. It's usually at the far end of your main panel. You're going to start with it's kind of like resetting all your breakers. You're going to start with turning off everything that is closest to the solar and then doing it in reverse. And so let's turn off the breakers inside this box. We're going to switch this handle down and then we turn your solar breaker off as well. You're going to give it about a minute, wait for all that electricity to dissipate, and then you're going to do the exact reverse. You're going to turn this back on flip this handle back up and turn these breakers back on. Give it about a couple minutes and you should see those lights turn back green. And that's essentially how you turn on and off your system and how uh, your, your system works in terms of overall maintenance as well. Solar panels, they are meant to take a beating from the harsh weather. And so if you notice dust, dirt, it's more than fine. Even if you get it cleaned, the production will probably go back to what it was about a week ago. The only time we would recommend perhaps trying to really wash it or using a blower would be after some ash, uh, after a big fire. But aside from that, you know, washing panels is, is a bit unnecessary. And so hopefully that helps and thank you guys very much for stopping by. Have a great one.